This is pretty. This is pretty cool. I can't lie to you, man. Well, you know, I heard you were having some trouble with your DMs, and I think I can help with that. I appreciate that, man. You know what? If we can, if we can work this out, I got notes from other people. I'll hit you with those later on. But yes, I do have a little bit of trouble working out some DMs. I think I figured it out, but I can tell you how it might be a little bit better. And I want to know. I do have a question, but before go for it. Before we get to that, I just want to say, oh, my God, Max and Bitcoin have to be the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. And Aww. just congratulations for having that in your life. <laughs> Thank you. So check this out, right? I want to know if there is a way, the same algorithm that, that when I follow somebody uh, mm -hmm. and it shows me similar accounts, can that be applied to DMs? Like if I go to my DMs and it's like, here are similar accounts also that, that you can reply to that you don't follow. Is that is there a way to do that? But people that have already, you know, tried to contact me, if they're somewhat of a similar account to mine, I feel like that can be applied the same way the follow thing happens. How does that work? Yeah, no, I think that that's, that's right. And that's what we, what we basically want to do. You know, I mean, the reason why we have the request feature is basically to prevent, um, you know, bullying and spam and other unwanted interactions to be able to filter that out. So, you know, anyone who you follow, you know, you want to be able to get a message from, but ideally we should be able to uh, help figure out who the other people who might be sending you messages are, who, who should get into that. It's, we, we, the feature isn't quite as advanced today as, as, um, as hopefully it will be in the future, but I, I think you're right. right on. I'll tell you what, man. Um, I couldn't even begin to start to figure out how to even come up with software or coding to do any of this. So it's 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 a good job. I just didn't know what I was doing. Now, I will say this. Um, the request folder is a good idea. I think I think we just didn't know about it because once I started seeing the 99 plus and things started to get jumbled up, the celebrities got in the same folder as, you know, the trolls and stuff like that. I, I, I just feel like if that was separated, I don't think we should add a folder, maybe merge another folder, maybe make the generic folder like a, God, I, I, I'm trying to say this without sounding like a, like an ass. Um, <laughs> Like well, a, I just kind of feel like on principle, anytime Rihanna sends you a message, it should go into your main inbox. You should probably see it. You should yeah. probably be able to see it. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that, the, the, the post button, the feed post button being at the top now. Um, I got to tell you, man, I I'm not sure how great of a move that was. <laughs> what, what, was the, what was the idea behind putting the post button at the top? And, you know, reels are hard. <laughs> we want to be able to we want to make it easier to get to to get to more functionality so more reels you know stuff like that but we also wanted one place that you can go create all the different content on instagram that you want to create so i think it, it will be better over time but i know it's it's um you know a little a it's little a bit change. of an adjustment every time we move that around absolutely absolutely yeah definitely pick a place <laughs> okay so I, th I think we're i think we're stuck there for a little bit so that's okay, good okay okay 